Right, we've made a pilgrimage over to the Ibox gym in Bromley to catch up with little Dennis the Menace. How are you, sir? Big Dennis the Menace, I'm very good. Yeah, I'm big, I'm very good, thank you. You? Yeah, good, thank you, pal. Now, we've got a little bit to catch up with with you. Following on your sort of rather stunning debut at Stevenage, you then went out at the O2 Arena... And the fella only had the cheek to take you to points distance, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. I haven't gone a couple of times. It was a tough cookie, wasn't it? I didn't, I didn't crack him. But a um, bit, 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 bit rude, wasn't he? Mm, yeah. Bit rude. Man, you were putting it on him a bit, weren't you? Yeah, I was sticking it on him. He was tough, and he had a winning record and stuff as well. So I'm, I'm only learning as well. So it's good maybe to get to take, take the distance. And I mean, to see how it, see how it is. Maybe the fact you've come across a tough man, he took you the distance. Maybe you maybe. Not such a good idea to do the old cutthroat thing right before the start. No, no. But I, I did it. I did it every amateur fight. It's like I, I always do the same thing. What sort know. of trademark is it? A trademark. I do it every time. It's just a, it's just a habit I do. Really, it's not a cocky thing. It's just it's just I find it lucky for some reason. Yeah, for some one. Yeah. <laughs> um, what did you take out of that fight? I mean, did you get frustrated at points? Were you desperate to get him out of there after making such quick work of the first one? Obviously, I wanted to get him out of there in front of. Uh, thousands of people in the old two arena but, but I, at one point I think I knew that he wasn't going to get out of there you know what I mean so I had to just go back to my boxing stick to my boxing do my trainer what he told me to do tra- me Al, Al Smith and Eddie Lamb and stuff and just go back to my boxing and I boxed him and uh, beat him every round and even when I weren't looking for the knockout I, f- I threw uh, I, was, I think it was a hook backhand and he wobbled quite bad as well That can't be easy, easy for you being told to Tone it down, go back to the boxing. I bet you hate that, don't you? No, I absolutely hate it. But I know I can box, you know what I mean? And I showed that I can box as well. I mostly am a boxer. But, um, yeah, I'm more aggressive and I like being aggressive. Did you think your first ten fights would all be knockouts? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, don't, I do consider myself a puncher, but I don't in another way. I'm, I think I'm more of a boxer, but I can punch, you know what I mean? That's what I am. I'm, I'm more of a boxer. I punch a boxer, but I think I'm more of a boxer, in my opinion. Anyway, after that, you made a bit of a spiritual return to, to Ireland, where you, you say you're from, although we're not sure. You seem to be from everywhere. Yeah. Um, you got on that Michael Conlon show, a part of the festival. What was the experience like? Oh, it was, it was great. It was, there was 10,000 people there. They showed me all good support, and they was all cheering me on and stuff as well, you know what I mean? And um, it was just great. It was such a great undercard. with so many great, great fighters fighting, weren't they? Mm. So I um, showcased my skills. And... Um, this geezer wasn't too rude, so I got him out of there in, I think it was 30 seconds. So you, you nabbed a little TV slot, didn't you? Yeah, I sneaked one of them ones, didn't I? <laughs> now this fella, I mean, it didn't really look like you caught him flush, but he still went. Were you surprised he went up from those punches? Not really, because I caught him right, just right behind the elbow. I caught him a, a re- not a lot, if he was closer up, closer up at the referee seen it. I was right behind the elbow, and um, then I sticked it on him a bit, but I thought the referee could let it go on a bit longer. I was a tiny bit disappointed in that. I wanted, I wanted, to, I wanted to hurt him very bad, but I wanted to just, like, do a big knockout or something, you know what I mean? Not a body shot. It's a weird one, isn't it? Because like, if you get him out too quickly, you want to box a little bit more. Yeah. If you get the rounds in, you want to get him out. Yeah, you, exactly. you can never win, can you? No, same as me. I always, I just, I always expect everything like, from myself, you know what I mean? I think like, less... Get off my own, my own back. Uh, if, if I stop him, I'm, I'm still not happy. If I win him points, I'm still not happy. What's next for you? Are you Albert Hall? Royal Albert Hall. Royal Albert Hall. So that'll be September 27th, which is a Friday. Um, what have you got there? Another four round, or are you moving up the rounds? Six rounds against a, a lot tougher opponent who's um, stopped a few, a few good prospects. Strong kid. Um, he stopped the likes of Sammy Campbell and stuff, who's six or seven now fighting for the Southern Area now. Stopped him, he stopped a few good fighters, and then um, you need to stop now before I stop him, and I. So you're sort of up in the risk levels a little bit now? Yeah, yeah. You've got, you got to try different styles boxers, punchers. Al knows what he's doing, you know what I mean? Mm. So I'm tick, 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 ticking all them boxes when I do fight for towels. So which box is this one ticking? This is ticking how hard, it, how hard you can take the shots. That's what, that's what he's ticking. Six rounds, any concerns in your fourth fight? No, no concerns at all. I'm, 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 a, I'm a very good state at camp right now. Um, I'm quite fit already, as it is already. And um, it's, it's buzzing to be honest. Royal Albert Hall's one, I think it's probably the best venue ever boxing. It's fantastic. It's just the, the history there, Muhammad Ali and all them good fighters fighting there. It's a dream come true to fight there. Absolutely. 
how's this, however long it's been, six, seven months, your professional journey so far? Has it lived up to expectations, everything going as you thought it would? Yeah, it did, yeah. I'm very, very happy the way it went. Um, I'm gonna, this is probably, I'm going to put on the best performance I've ever, ever put on in September 27th. Um, I'm feeling really good. I'm, I'm more maturing into a man. And um, I'm still good looking, I ain't got no, uh, no, no broken nose, no black eyes yet, no cuts, thank God. And then um, hopefully do the same again in September. How's your little commute playing out for you? Because like you say, you're doing, what, about an hour and 20 minutes a day to get here? Yeah, hour and 20 minutes here, hour and 20 minutes back. Strength conditions, hour, hour, two hours sometimes. It's in Chesington. I live in, near Ashford. It's from Chesington. I'm Ashford and Maidstone, I'm between them both. Yeah. And, um, it's, it's quite far. But it's going to be all worth it in the end. You've got, it's got to be done, you've got to go to the best gyms and the best strength coaches there is. And, um, doesn't come cheap though, does it? Huh? Doesn't come cheap travelling in this country. No, definitely not. It'd be, it'd be handy if Frank opened his pockets some more to me. I'd be happy. Well, you just said get your, get your boss to sponsor you over there. Ho hopefully he does, I'm going to try. I'll, I'll get a tattoo on my chest if he sponsors me. Absolutely. Of his company. Good idea. I don't think he will though, do you? No, it's too tight, he won't do it. Too tight. That's Alan Smith, of course, we're talking about the venerable landlord of the iBox gym. Now then, have you noticed, you've been given quite a lot of a profile and TV exposure and everything, probably something that a lot of young lads don't get. Have you noticed it's changed anything in your day-to-day -day life? Do you get a few sideways glances walking up the street? Yeah, all the time. I get people asking for pictures all the time and stuff. Uh, even autographs as well sometimes. It's, um, it feels good, obviously. It feels very, very good. Yeah. You get much attention in Maidstone? Yeah, I get, I get extra birds on right now. I get extra birds. Really? Yeah. Phew. I'm good looking as well, I mean, so I can pull it off. We'll take your word for that. Anyway, Dennis, that'll do for now. We'll see you soon, pal. Thank you very much.